Hi, I'm Anthony Muscolo. I'd like to welcome you to our Bedhead campaign and collection. The Bedhead client is someone who's really inspired by street fashion, who has a very rebellious attitude. Someone who's very brave in the way that they wear their hair. Their hair is their personality. And I think the products allow you to really create that powerful individual statement you want to make with your hair. So whenever we do a project like this, you can present many logistical challenges. One is, of course, we're shooting on location. We have about 70 people on set. Amongst all that, you're working against time, so the pressure can be quite intense. The challenge for us was that we had to create education and shoot in the campaign, and we're also doing the collection. And we had to do this all at the same time. In this year's Bad Head collection, we wanted to feature six different looks, four girls and two boys. We really wanted to show the diversity of cut and color techniques, as well as product usage for different textures and lengths of hair. So for our model Anna, we wanted to create a softer, modern version of the undercut. And just to achieve that, Anthony used motor mouth just to prepare the hair. And after the haircut, you know, blow dried it, uh, personalized the shape, and used Joyride to recreate that texture that lived in grungy second day feel to the end result. So for our Swedish model, Mia, the inspiration was a late 60s, 70s inspired rock romance feel. To achieve this look, Thomas created a unique sectioning and layering pattern, and he used a combination of products to create a fantastic texture, and he finished it off with the Joyride. On Lucas's hair, we wanted to share a classic barbering technique. And for that, again, use skin fading at the sides and the back, and then use a combination of different guards to create that perfect graduation. Leaving the top a little bit longer, and they finished it off with Sick Trick Pomade. For a Japanese model Tomo, the inspiration was high-end men's editorials. And for that feel, created a haircut that is long, and it has a slightly grown-out feel. And dressed towards the face using Slick Trick Pomade. So for Kira's hair, we wanted to create a combination of a 70s mullet with a 90s grunge finish. And to achieve this, Piero layered the hair from the front to the back, and he used the combination of Queen for a Day and Joyride to give support and separation to the finished look. For my model, Francisca, I wanted to create a modern, updated version of the 90s transient shape. I worked with a side part as well as an asymmetrical layering pattern. And since Francisca had quite fine hair, I layered three different products on the rebound, OB Hive, and Joyride to give a lifting feel to the finished look. It was a great pleasure to work with the international creative team on this year's Bad Hat Collection. We create some amazing imagery along with fantastic education, which we look forward to share with you in the near future. I think the energy that you can see and the way that the team work together really reflects in the actual photographs that we got. I think we created some brilliant imagery. Working on location really gave it a new feel. I think it's probably one of the best collections that we've done for a long time. Anthony Muscala out. Yeah.